Sad to say, heart attacks and other cardiac events are also pretty common. Chest pain is, of course, a typical warning sign of a cardiac event, along with pain in other parts of the upper body, like shortness of breath, nausea, cold sweats, even lightheadedness. Signs of a heart attack might vary based off of your gender or some other physical characteristics. Sometimes, cardiac events can actually be mistaken for heartburn or indigestion, maybe even soreness of the neck, jaws, or arms. If you're witnessing a cardiac event underway and you can communicate with the victim, ask, do you have any medications that you take for your heart? For instance, nitroglycerin might be one. If so, help them take the proper dose. For adult victims who are alert and are experiencing mild chest pain that's likely caused by heart trouble, and who also don't have a known allergy or physician's order against aspirin, they could chew and swallow an appropriate dose. However, since a call to 911 is gonna have to be made early on, the decision to administer aspirin and in what dose can be made over the phone with the emergency response worker. As with anaphylaxis, difficulty breathing during a heart attack or another cardiac event can be partially alleviated through that loosening of clothing around the victim's neck and torso. Cardiac arrest and other heart-related traumas are common side effects of electrocution. Look around your job site. Do you see any potential electrocution hazards? Yeah, you don't have to look too closely to find them. Breathing might also stop due to muscle spasms or paralysis. Electrical burns are also pretty common, very common. It's important to remember that electrical hazards must first be disconnected before you engage a victim in order to avoid becoming what? A victim yourself. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, you might know it as CPR, should be started if a heart attack victim's lost consciousness. CPR and rescue breathing aren't within the scope of this particular training. So think about your job site, typical sites that you're on. In your work, are you exposed to heightened risk factors related to cardiac events? If so, really recommend that you seek out specific training on administering CPR and the use of AEDs, which are automated external defibrillators.